Uh, let's do this next problem. It says, uh, what is the combined kinetic energy um, if you weigh 90 kilograms and are riding 10 meters per second on a 10 kilogram bicycle? So it wants you to find the kinetic energy. So do you guys remember what the formula for kinetic energy is? Because you're going to have to memorize it. So let's do it. So it's um, kinetic energy equals what? One half. One half. Mass times, mass times velocity. Velocity squared, right? That's all right. Um, I, I think once you started putting these things in, you would have realized. Um, so let's write down what the problem gives us. Okay. So it wants the combined kinetic energy of these things, right? So it's saying you weigh, so the mass, we'll say, of the human is 90.0 kilograms. And then the mass of the bicycle is what? 10 0.0 kilogram. Okay, so the mass total is going to be the mass of the human plus the mass of the bicycle, right? Is everybody cool with that? So let's just write that. Mass total. So it's going to be the combined, of course, 90 plus 10 is 100, but let's just write it out. Notice the addition of significant figures. So three sig figs, three sig figs, but this still has four. This has four now. Okay? You can do that with addition and subtraction. So go back to your sig fig rules if you're having trouble with that. I just wanted to point it out. Okay? So velocity, it also gives us, right? What does it say? It's 10 meters per second. Says, we'll say it's 10 dot meters per second. Okay? So, now all we do is plug and chug. So, kinetic energy equals mass, which is 100.0 kilograms times. Velocity, which is 10 dot meters divided by one second squared. Divide that whole thing by two. Okay. So that's another way of writing that formula. So this is going to be 10 squared, of course, is 100 times 100. Is uh, 10,000 divided by 2, 5,000. So, 5,000 kilograms meters squared per second squared is the units. But notice this thing's only got two sig figs, right? Does everybody see that? Everybody cool with that? Only two sig figs on it. So we've got to have our answer to two sig figs. Okay? So it's going to be 5.0 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3 kilograms meters squared per second squared. And what did we say kilograms meters squared per second squared was? A joule. Okay, so the answer is going to be 5.0 times 10 cubed joules. Is everybody okay with that? Any questions on that? So I guess when you get to that weird units of kilograms meters squared per second squared, I want you to remember joules, okay?